Now that the first three rows are in place, I'll continue using the same technique to build the structure for the rest of the page row by row. The remainder of the page won't be the full width of the browser, so I'll create a container div that will hold rows 4 to 9. Rows 4 and 5 both consist of four equal columns. UIKit's grid of 10 columns doesn't divide evenly by 4, but it can still handle this easily. Remember, in addition to specifying how many of the 10 columns you want to use, you can also divide rows into halves, thirds, fourths, fifths, and sixths. Here is the container div. I've added a class called main content so I can add my own styles. In the app style sheet, I've added a white background to the main content container. Inside that container, I'll need to add a grid div. This is a div with a class of UK grid. Inside the grid goes the columns. I want the columns to display four across for large devices. So this div needs a class of UK width large one of four. Instead of basing this width on 10 columns, basically what you're doing is creating a fraction. We're splitting the row into fourths and this column will be one fourth of the row width. And these columns will be two across on medium, which will be one half. So we can use the same naming scheme, UK width, medium, one of two or one half. If I don't specify a small class width, the layout will collapse to a stacking single column at the small size and lower. In order to see the layout better, I'll add a panel inside the column. The panel gets a class of UK panel, and you can optionally add the UK panel box and UK panel box primary to add additional styling that makes the panel a little more visible. Now I will just copy this column, and I need four of these, so I'll just paste it in. There we see the four columns at the large width and two across at the medium and small drops down to single stacking columns. Now I will take these four columns and copy and paste those so we actually have eight columns. So there are eight columns within the same row. Now the page shows the eight columns, four across on the large, two across, and stacking. Depending on the needs of your site, sometimes you'll create separate rows using another grid div, and other times you can just add additional columns within an existing grid to get multiple lines. The default is no vertical space between the columns when they stack. You can add a data attribute to the element that has the grid class, data UK grid margin. That will add a top margin to the columns that stack. When you have equal columns like this, there's an easier way to set those up. Rather than repeating the classes for each column, you can add the width classes to the grid row. So I've just copied that here. Now you see instead of putting those width classes on the divs, as I did above, you can actually put them into the row. So this is the div that has a class of UK grid, and I've put my width classes on that element. Notice that there's one difference where this is just a UK width medium one two, 
this is a UK grid width medium one two. So that means each of these first level divs that are inside this div at medium will be half width and at the large size will be one fourth width. So this is just a cleaner approach, less cluttered, and it gives the same result. In addition to using divs, UIKit allows you to use an unordered list as a grid. And with equal columns, you can apply those width classes to the grid element, which in this case is the UL tag, has a class of UK grid. And I'm using the same classes that I used above with the divs. Half the row at medium width and one fourth of the row at large. And with the unordered list, each list item becomes a column in the row. So this is virtually the same setup except replacing the divs with list items. And of course the row is an unordered list. And the results will be the same.